Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand system date, current date, and system timestamp in SQL. So these are the date functions. So far, uh, we have covered about uh, uh, we have covered uh, string functions and uh, number functions. String functions and number functions has been covered in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here. And every video in our channel is going to be part of a course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now coming to this class, uh, we'll try to understand some uh, basic system function, uh, date functions. And uh, in that we have system date. So what this system date is, uh, and these functions can be used by using the dual uh, dual table which is a default table that is available in the oracle database so with this we can execute all the functions of the sql so by using this dual table without creating a separate table we can execute the all the system functions of a all the system uh, sql functions or uh, sql functions can be executed by using this dual table so uh, system date means we are going to get the date of the system where the database management system dbs dbms database management system software is located okay so that is very important to understand so if, for example uh, uh, in our case in our case our database management system software is located on our own system okay but there are some cases where uh, the database management systems are located on servers okay so this is very important to understand if the server is located uh, the location of the server is somewhere else so at that location at that location the date that is existing we are going to get the date think of this point okay so the date that that is existing uh, on that server uh, the, where the server is located that that locations date so uh, the date at that location we are going to get it so that is done by using system date and the next one is select current date from dual current date from dual means so this is the uh, date of of the uh, system upon which we are working so so in our case in our case this and this uh, both will both are going to produce the same dates because the database management system and uh, uh, is located on the same system and the current system date also we are going to get the same date and uh, same date okay current system is going to get the system upon which upon which uh, uh, upon which the output is getting produced so that uh, current date system we are going to get it okay and next one is system timestamp system timestamp stands for system timestamp for uh, uh, is to get the uh, timestamp of the uh, of the machine upon which the dbms is located so let's try to execute this on our computer and see how the outputs are going to be so uh, select system date from dual okay so this is the system date and similarly if you take current date from dual the same date because both of them are on the same uh, machines okay and uh, next one is the system timestamps so the entire time uh, with the uh, location with the location and the timestamp that is used by the system we are going to get the entire timestamp so this is all about uh, system date current date and timestamp system timestamp hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching